Good morning, and welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. At this time, we ask if you could take a few moments to please silence your phones. Our presider this morning is Father Cecil Critch, and our opening hymn is found in our Catholic Book of Worship, number 568, 568, Praise to the Lord. Please stand. and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries today, we ask the Lord to come into our hearts and to forgive us our sin. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness. When Israel sought for rest, the Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you 
with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again, I will build you, and you shall be built, O virgin Israel. Again, you shall take up your tambourines and go forth in the dance of the merrymakers. Again, you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant and shall enjoy the fruit. For there shall be a day when sentinels will call in the hill country of Ephraim, Come, let us go up to Zion, to the Lord our God. For thus says the Lord, Sing aloud with gladness for Jacob, and raise shouts for the chief of the nations. Proclaim, give praise, and say, Save, O Lord, your people, the remnant of Israel. The word of the Lord. The response to Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want.
The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the district of Tyre and Sidon, and a Canaanite woman from that region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not answer her at all, and his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she keeps shouting after us. And he answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. And Jesus answered, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly. The Gospel of the Lord. The two cities mentioned at the beginning of today's gospel reading, Tyre and Sidon, are, also, are still known to us today as cities on the coast of modern-day Lebanon, a much troubled area of the world at this present time, as you know. Jesus was in that region of Tyre and Sidon with his disciples, beyond his usual area of ministry, of course, in a district mostly inhabited by Gentiles or pagans. Most likely, he had probably withdrawn there in the face of recent hostility from the Jewish authorities. He was kind of hiding out there, I guess, and his disciples as well. It seems that Jesus' reputation as a healer had spread even to these parts because he is approached by a local woman, a pagan, and she pleads for him to heal her daughter. And the pagan woman has great faith. The initial response of Jesus to her desperate cry for help was one of silence. And when the woman persisted with her request and Jesus answered her directly for the first time, he seems to dismiss her request in a rather harsh fashion. Just as the woman was not put off by Jesus' silence, she is not put off by his seemingly harsh refusal. She takes Jesus' image of feeding the children rather than the house dogs, the people of Israel rather than the pagans, and turns it to her own advantage. Eventually, Jesus acknowledges her persistent and humble faith and grants her request. The Gospel reading suggests that as far as Jesus was concerned, the time had not come for him to bring the Gospel to the pagans yet. It would come later, after his death and resurrection. Yet, this woman succeeded in bringing forward that timetable by her persistent faith in the face of the Lord's great reluctance. Jesus spoke at one point of a faith that can move mountains, and this woman's faith certainly moved Jesus. This pagan woman encourages all of us to be persistent in our prayer, to never give up on our prayer, to keep seeking the Lord, even when the Lord appears to be silent and distant. Jeremiah in the first reading tells us that God loves us and has loved us with an everlasting love, and God will restore and rebuild us. We will build the fallen ones who will rejoice again and be fruitful again and will be saved. Our prayers of intercession today. For Holy Father, Pope Francis and Peter, our Archbishop, and all those who lead and shepherd our church, we pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our world, in all the troubled areas of the world, especially this week we pray for Israel and Gaza and Lebanon, those areas of the world, we pray to the Lord. We pray for healing for all of our sick, recommended to our prayers. Today we remember Magdalene Pittman, Anne Lilly, Yvonne Steiner, and Sister Roisin Gannon, and all those who need healing in body, mind, and spirit. We pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, we pray for our recently deceased Carmela Anello, who is the mother of Vincenza Echegueri, who was our music teacher at St. Bonds, who play, has her band playing here on many occasions in our, our diocese and parish. We pray for her, the repose of her soul. We pray for Laura Norris, who recently died. We also pray for Billy Nash, Durham Dobbin, and Sandra Dobbin. And all those who have died, we pray to the Lord. And we pray for your intention today in the quiet of your hearts. We pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the graces and blessings you give us every day, and we make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. mystery of this water and wine when we come to share in the divinity of Christ or humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. And pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for praise and glory to his name, for our good and for the good of God's holy church. Let us pray. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which, at your bidding, we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. So with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with them to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. We pray with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we share the peace of Christ now with one another. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will say the word, my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is found in Celebrate in Song, number 6.6, .6, One Love Released.
One bread, one body, one cup, one call, one faith, one spirit present in us all, one prayer, one One people, one love released, one bread, one body, one cup, one call, one faith, one spirit present. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your and may Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank uh, John and Jacinta for the music and Nicholas for live streaming continually and our sacristan, Philomena, and all those who help every day. God bless all of you. May Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Go now in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is found on page 447 in the Catholic Book of Worship, A Living Faith, number 447. Mm -hmm. 